Hey, Matt Morris, welcome back to part two of how to go from amateur to professional in network marketing. I am here in Nairobi, Kenya, about to uh, head out to a training, so I wanted to record a couple, uh, at least a couple uh, of the uh, parts of the show here. And so here's the first thing that I want to cover, and this was uh, probably the most difficult thing for me to overcome in going from an amateur to a professional was getting over fear, the fear of rejection. And this is, as a side note, the number one reason why people don't take action. If you enroll someone in your network marketing business, why do they not go take action? The number one reason is fear of rejection. You've got to get over the fear of rejection. Now, I know it's difficult, but here's the thing. What an amateur does is they will be filled with fear. Okay, and that fear will cripple them until they can get over it. And people will try all different sorts of techniques, just like I did. I tried praying about it. I tried meditating out about it. I tried, you know, reading more books. And listen, there is one way to get over fear. And the only way to get over fear is to go do that which you fear. And if you continue to do which you, that which you fear, the death of fear is inevitable. Now, it is painful sometimes to go do it, but here's the difference. An amateur has that fear hold them back. Professional may still have the fear, but a professional will say, you know what, I have courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is having the fear, but doing it anyway. It's breaking through. And see, what happens is every time you do that which you fear, a little bit of that resistance, a little bit of that fear goes away. Now, it may not go away the first time. You may have to do it over and over and over again, just like me. The first time I got on stage uh, to do a network marketing presentation, I was amazingly afraid. Uh, when I got to do my first training, I was amazingly afraid. You know what, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, I was still afraid. It took me a bunch of times, and finally, I completely got over it. You know, today, uh, this week, I'm gonna do nine events here in three days, and there's no fear at all. I'm excited, I can't wait to go share my knowledge. I can't wait to go share my passion because I know I'm gonna touch people and it's gonna go make a difference. And so I'm excited about it. But here's the thing, I had to have courage, not be gripped with fear. And I'll give you another secret. When you stop being afraid, people start following you. See, it's just evident. When you're sitting down with people and you're fearful, you're needy, then what happens is people, they sense that fear, like a dog smells fear, and they don't necessarily, they're not maybe so excited about following you. Now listen, be okay with you know, having that fear. Be okay with where you're at. Give yourself a little bit of grace, but continue to push forward. See, this is a long-term game. Sometimes people, you know, you, they, they join and six months in, they're still not rid of the fear and they say, well, network marketing is just not for me. Listen, it took me several years. Um, and one of the reasons why it took me several years is because it took me so long to have the courage. It took me so long to just break through and go ahead and just do it. If I would have just done it right away, then I could have gotten rid of the fear and uh, Lord only knows how much uh, more success I would have had uh, so much earlier. But that's the whole thing is um, you just have to go out. Now, here's another secret. When you stop being afraid of people saying no, they start saying yes. So that means you have some posture, you have some swagger, you're not afraid of the no, you stop being fearful of that. And here's the analogy, you may have heard me talk about this, but um, something that I, I would recommend, this is something that I say to people when they're brand new, I realize number one reason why they don't go take action is because of fear, fear of rejection. And so how do we get rid of that rejection rocket? Well, we inform people, our job as network marketers is not to beg, convince, plead, sell people into our business. Our job is to educate them and to collect a de decision. So educate them on what we're doing, our products, our services, our opportunity, and then to collect a decision. And that's it. It's, I always give the waiter analogy. So if you've ever been out to eat before, chances are you've had a waiter or waitress say, would you like some dessert? Well, have you ever said no? Yes, you've obviously rejected probably a lot of waiters 
in your lifetime. You've rejected a ton. Now, does the waiter take it personally? No, that would be ridiculous for them to take it personally, just like it's ridiculous for you to take it personally when someone doesn't want to join your network marketing organization. Listen, it is di people are different. Not everyone wants your type of dessert. Um, I look at my network marketing company as dessert for life. Now, does everyone want dessert for life? No, they don't. Um, you know, sometimes it's not the right time in their life. So I can either say, oh man, and feel really bad. I can take it personally or I can just go show it to someone else. I can do like a waiter does. When someone says they don't want dessert, they go to the next table. You go to the next person and realize our job is not selling people, convincing or any of that. It's education, understanding, collecting decisions, and that's it. So I hope this helps you. Stay tuned for part three where I'm going to get into another way that you can go from amateur to professional in network marketing. Hopefully this video added some value. If you feel like it can help some others, you can tag them in the video. You can share this around. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, definitely subscribe there. Hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in, and you'll get these in your email on a regular basis. Thanks for tuning in. Go make life an adventure. Okay.